This unit is about the Jewish community of Varia. Varia is in northern Macedonia, northwest of Salonika. Originally, it was a Greek-speaking, Judeo-Greek Romaniot community. It's known as a place where the disciple Paul came. And uh, we don't know a lot about the history in the uh, afterward, but um, the Sephardim came after the Spanish expulsion, and it was an Ottoman Jewish community. Uh, today, what's special is that there's a synagogue that's been restored, and there's a Jewish ghetto. It's one of the only places that you can sort of see what the Jewish community looked like in its entirety. It was a small Jewish community. It had about 650 Jews. Four, oh, about 460 were annihilated in the Holocaust. The rest uh, hid or fled and went to the mountains or uh, were in the partisan. Um, the current synagogue was rebuilt, I think, in 1850. The, it, it, it looks very quaint. It's, it's, uh, you can even go there today. It's on a, a river. And on the other side of the river, there was a cemetery, which unfortunately isn't there anymore because uh, the, Jews in, the Jewish communities of Greece didn't want to wall the cemetery. And then, uh, then it was pillaged and chickens were running all over. There were some uh, inscriptions, but we, it's no longer there. Um, in the third slide, there's a, there's a wall of the Jewish, in the Jewish ghetto of, of like a... Uh, apartment buildings and on top there's a Hebrew inscription that says remember the events in Jerusalem in 1881 basically they're referring to the pogroms in Kishinev and the migrations to the area at that time of, of, of the Ashkenazi Jews some came to the region but they didn't stay so uh, you have some pictures of what the uh, ghetto looked like and what it uh, and the revitalization. A lot of the neighborhood was uh, renovated by um, all sorts of international development funds. And today it's like a museum. So essentially, most of the Jews were killed in the Holocaust. In the end, let's say in the 80s and the 90s, there are only three Jewish families left, or three Jewish old people or couples. The synagogue is a, a traditional Sephardic synagogue. It looks very nice. Looks a lot nice probably now than it did then, but uh, you have an uh, you have an idea of what it looked like. There isn't a lot to say about uh, about the history, but uh, in terms of the Holocaust, also there was a, a partisan uh, hero named uh, Lazaro Cesaria. He was on the central committee of the leftist partisans. He uh, and he uh, established food cooperatives in the region of Thessaly. He was an agronomist. Um, we had, I, I uncovered one uh, rescue story, one hiding story of a family. The father had uh, disappeared. I think eventually he was deported, but the mother was left with six kids, and they hid on a, on a, on a porch in the center of the city, on an outdoor porch uh, opposite the mosque, and for maybe, I don't know, a year and a half, and one, one, one kid died of starvation, but uh, I, I interviewed uh, one of the other children who was an adult in my community in Israel. Um, today, there's some focus on the, the Jews of Varia. Um, also, originally, it was a Romaniot community. So they were Greek-speaking, Judeo-Greek Jews from the Byzantine Empire. And then when the Sephardim came, the... Uh, the uh, culture of the Jews became uh, Judeo-Spanish or Sephardic, and uh, that's a nice short story.